Hello, hello, hi everyone. All right, nice to catch up with you again for another week uh, with the Stock Lighthouse. Thank you very much for watching another video for us this week. Thank you, appreciate that you actually been following us, uh, watching this video once again. All right, so what's happen happening in the US market? All right, uh, just in the US market, in fact, for the last week, uh, or rather this week, depending on what time you're watching the video, all right, uh, the US market has been a very strong bull run. We have been up on five five consecutive days. Alright, that is that is uh, very 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 bullish I would say. I mean for especially for the start of the year. Uh, Alright, just let me get this in. So so where are we? Alright. Uh, okay, so where are we when we last off in the last video? Alright, we are somewhere on this very very big bullish candle where it somewhere ended just slightly breaking through the 31 or sorry rather the 38% Fibonacci retracement so I mentioned that uh, now it's a bit kind of like not here nor there position it might come down it might go up so uh, where the market had actually went last week well actually it went up so it went up for full bullish for the five consecutive day all right so are we actually looking at continue to go up trend or it might actually bounce and look downtrend, right? So as Steve mentioned uh, earlier, if just purely based on a technical point of view, if looking at the moving averages, which is something that I use uh, to actually use it as a reference of trend, uh, it seems that, you know, firstly, the 50 is below the 150, below the, 50, the 200 uh, SMA. Alright, and 150 and the 200 are all both pointing down. Alright, it's still telling me the sun is more towards the downtrend move rather than uptrend move. But of course, since the start, just before Christmas up to now, the price actually came back up from 2350 on the SPX index. Now, just closed off on last, on Friday at 2596. Alright, that's a very big up move. Alright, but I also did mention that because after this consolidation, the price has a parabolic move and then this is generally a usual move that it will come up. So where were we looking at? I did mention that uh, looking at Fibonacci usually bounce off in this three area, 38%, 50% or 61.8%. I'm not so keen on the 50 and mentioned previously uh, because although there's a bounce off point, uh, but it's not as critical as what I feel is the 61.8 range because this is where the last support turn resistance is. Alright, and it's getting closer to the 50 SMA. So I think this could be a likely possible point that it might bounce. Alright, so this is a critical level that I'm looking at for now. Alright, price has actually moved up for the last 5 days. And what actually triggered this move firstly was because uh, as usual another meetup or rather another meeting that talked by Paul Powell, okay, the Fed chairman, they say that you know, the Fed is now really waiting and watching patiently actually at the rates at how the economy is moving, they will increase as need to, uh, but as usual they are looking at somewhere between 2 to 3 in uh, interest rate hike, the question is which quarter will they increase all right so so that's why uh the chairman has been saying that no they are really really patient this this year round all right they are still looking at their target of three percent all right so uh, just a matter of time when the thing will increase so as the year move on then we have more concrete plan along the way when the fed is going to increase interest rate another reason why for the last week has been moving up bullish was because the trade talk between US and China has a bit of progression. All right, nothing concrete have concluded uh, in the two days extended to three day talk, uh, but it's because there's an extension or another day than planned uh, based on the people who are familiar with uh, this this trade talk. It seems like things are ended, well, ended off somewhat positive. All right, so. Uh, there's a lot of optimism in it. That's why the U.S. market and China market has been has been bullish up for the whole week. All right, so uh, we just have to look at this week what's going to happen. What is the key area? Uh, but the same thing for me on the technical point of view. All right, at the sixty-one point eight percent 
Fibonacci retracement level, which is this. Current resistance level will be the critical level to look at. All right, it may come here and bounce off, or it may actually go break through and continue and trend. All right, so if it break through, probably the trend will continue up, or it might bounce off. Uh, the two hundred. Uh, moving average because this is going to be a key resistance level all right so it might actually bounce off this and come down again all right you never know all right we just have to observe that it's as the time went on as the price movement get closer to all these critical level we just have to watch and observe what is the price action movement and decide where it is but as as of now uh, things are still generally looking bearish as a hope on the technical point of view uh, but of course uh, the price retracement has been a very very huge move that some people some of us might have actually missed a good opportunity or we have been waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and uh, just miss out all this good opportunity to trade uh, but there's always a chance just wait for your own setup at your risk own risk level at your own comfort level that you are comfortable with before you enter any trade right okay so this week uh what are, what kind of stocks or, or etf you are looking at uh like i mentioned uh because of the level that we are now it's very still very close to my critical level so i'm still quite cautious about it uh not too many stocks on share to look at uh but if you, you are bullish about the market uh you can actually look at xlv okay which is the u.s healthcare etf all right so it has been a long-term bullish trend all right just same thing as of yep this is a fire chart you can see it has been moving up trend steady all right as of last year october where all the price movement has been happening all right it has came down quite a bit all right it has came down bounced up and came sharply down he the thing is now it found the support on the fire or rather the long term trend line and start bouncing off all right so at this level currently all right at this level currently what i'm seeing is all right it has actually uh break it actually had breakthrough this support and interchangeable support and resistance level all right uh, previously it was a resistance it was a resistance then it break through here turn support go back up turn now break resistance now came back up and seems to have just broke this level again so anticipating it could possibly go up all right so if you are looking for a position to 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 buy too long uh, possibly this could be one of the trade you can look at all right Anyway, healthcare is an evergreen industry. Uh, no matter at what stage, especially now, the world are actually moving towards, uh, rather or rather, the the major economies, the major countries are actually moving towards aging population. That's where healthcare are even more important. All right. So these are the companies that are actually making uh, good money because of the products and services they are providing. Uh, in terms, in, in in the end, will generate more revenue for shareholders company share price will definitely go up so this is one of them you can look at uh, if you are not looking at individual healthcare company you can actually do a slv as an etf as a sector as a whole all right that's one of them right but if you are still bearish with the market right you're sitting on looking for position to actually sell off all right you can actually look at the emerging market so this is one of them that i'm still looking at previously uh, i did mention it previously uh, nothing has really got through my price but looking at the price action is still within that range so i'm still having a close look which is as inda right the india etf all right so price has has moved up had moved up previously all right in all the way up to 2018 price came down bounce off this uh this key key support level right key support level previously it broke here went down came back up all right now been using the sma 200 at a resistance level all right using sma 200 as a resistance level all right let me just zoom it in
okay so it has been uh, respecting the SMA 200 as a key resistance level so recently it just have a very big uh, bull run up but it just touches the line same thing then slowly it came back down all right so am I going to short the mark the point now mm, not exactly why because uh, it looks good that it actually bounced off this uh, SMA 200 again uh, but I'm, I'm a bit wary because of this this support or rather maybe at this point in time considered as a resistance level so it, it bounced off previously broke through but more recently just a small bounce off twice as well so I'm a bit worried that this uh, level is still somewhat respected so I want to see that whether it will come back down and bounce so when will I enter I'm looking for it ready to break through then I'll probably initiate a short position but of course if I'm gonna initiate uh, I'm, I'm generally a bit uh, when I'm in the position a bit more uh, cautious about it why is it because uh, there's only just a short trade movement on a previous record it could go, probably go to this low so once it breaks here past about 32 point 2.2 this level okay the first level I might look at it somewhere around before 30 I might look at taking profit if the movement the trend movement or the price action still movement still going to support I might look at 29 uh, if it breaks through then I might hold a bit longer if not once it start bouncing up I might want to take my profit off the table so it's just going to be a short uh, or rather a small movement a small profit uh, into the pocket right but everything had to be started for this IND only when it start breaking through this 32.25 32.2 price level all right yep so this is just the only two thing I'm two stocks I'm looking at so for this week another short video uh, generally is because I'm still uh, waiting for the price action to form up in the market as a whole uh, because I'm feeling pretty uncertain as of now where the market is really going uh, based on news and everything price movement right it seems to be bullish everything is moving up but based on the technical point of view price has been got but it seems like going to slowly slowly going to start to taper down uh, coming in to touch on this 61.8 Fibonacci level before uh, depend on what economy news at point of time and then break out to form a new direction yeah so as for me now this price point movement is a bit too short and too risky to enter all right i would rather actually hold on to it uh, and see how the market movement going to be before uh, i initiate uh, any more further positions all right if not whatever position i have now i'm comfortable with holding on to it so i will just want to see how the things will work out all right okay so it's a good thing to look out for the next week hopefully price touch on the 61.8 soon then we have a clearer direction when things are going and probably have more action in the market all right okay so that's it for that's all for this week all right another short video so all right trade safe invest safely if you're unsure unsafe about anything uh, please uh, do your own due diligence uncomfortable please do not enter the trade and most importantly whatever is shared on this video is just for educational purposes uh, it's not any buy sell recommendation please do your own due diligence okay lastly if you like this video if you want to have more of this video right please like uh, our facebook page please share our video share our post on facebook and youtube so that we can reach out to more people to grow this community uh, if you really like what we do uh, please uh, comment below what are the things that you like or what are the things you like to find out uh, what are things that I didn't, I didn't actually cover or things that I can improve just comment below so that we can all learn together all right I look forward to, to hear from you guys all right invest safely and I will see you the next week all right take care